if it's I'm like, just gonna look it up because I'm bored. If it's like <laughs> three syllables, it's probably a band. Yeah. War and Peace, a progressive metal band led by Jeff Pilson. Who's Jeff Pilson? Oh, surprise attack! Surprise, suckers! You're gonna die! Apparently he was a member of Dio for part of the 1990s and has been the bassist for Foreigner since 2004. War and That's Peace looks like a very boring band. This fucking lightning strike this fucker. This robot does not stand a chance against water. <laughs> and I lightning. am about to make myself ill trying to figure this puzzle out. Oof. It's too complicated. Why? Why does it exist? Why does there have to be puzzles in RPGs, man? Why Super couldn't Mario it puzzles all are be... really good, so. like, Why couldn't it all just be like walking around and fighting things? Now, this is a maze that was already massive, but also now you can rotate the rooms um, <laughs> on the um, which axis? Not, not in a flat plane. Holy shit, that's a lot of ghosts. On the y-axis? Like, if you're looking along the long axis of the room, it spins clockwise round you. Oh... So hey. the ceiling becomes the right-hand wall. It's a pet. That would probably be... the x-axis. It rotates it the, around no, the x? The x-axis is, like, left to right, isn't it? Yeah, it would be the Z. It would be the Z. Yeah, okay. And now, uh, a save point and a long bridge, which means it's time to get killed by Odin. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, oh boy. I feel like, like, 13, the encounter design in that game towards the end game is a bit too overwhelming. That's... Like, yeah. it felt... Sounds good. It felt like they kind of designed each... Because the because you automatically recover after every encounter, you they kind of, like, get try and get away with designing every single small encounter like a boss. This then just feels a bit much. Uh, I thought you were talking about the visuals were over-designed in that game, Jack, so I don't know why. No, the... Um, I mean, the, the, the visuals actual, are like... pretty intense a lot of the time, but... Um... Yeah. Yeah, throughout like the game, effects. All, all the encounters are, are really labor intensive. That is pretty Final Fantasy standard, though. Actually. Well, it's but it's, it's more it, back. because you don't you don't have any drain on resources throughout between encounters. It kind of builds them more like individual challenges rather than like a single like area you have to get through. I'm just thinking the final dungeon in four is just pretty much all the all the enemies are basically boss monsters. They take as long as boss monsters. Yeah, but so you've just, got you, you can run away from yeah, them though. Yeah, but the thing the thing about like top four, four is that you've got to like last through that dungeon. And you've got to maintain your potions, your MP, and all that through um the entire. Oh, real hope's dead. Dungeon one is in, um, is whereas in 13, it's kind of, it's like, it's a point where, like, well, I can't really move, like, it's, it's, well, what am I saying? You can't, like, every single encounter is just, like, because from the, I'm just repeating myself. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> is there no running away in 13? No, I don't think so. You can re you, in 13, when you, you can re you can retry. Yeah, when, when you retry, yeah. it places you back on the on the in, in the environment. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, what if I don't want to fight this battle? There's no one there. Yeah. Pause. Yeah, there retry. Is. That's re retry, oh. and you leave. Oh, we have to die. No, you um, don't. You just oh, pause you can just and start retry. retry. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I forgot about that. Uh, the... I can't remember how Lightning Returns... Lightning Returns is basically the Works. same on that point, but, um... But if you lose a battle, you lose an hour of time. That's right. Unless you're uneasy. Yeah, that's true. 
Can you get the true ending on easy or no? I think you can. I think I did. Because I remember. I remember. I there was saying there is something you can't do on easy. I thought there's only like one proper ending there. No, I I can okay. easily imagine what the non-true ending would be. Um, like you could, I I can pretty much point to exactly where the cuts would be in the end sequence. Please don't die, Hope. Oh, Hope's dead. <laughs> that went well. Fucking Phoenix down that shit. And Lightning's dead. So. <laughs> Retry, walk up to the fucking fight again. Skip through the cutscenes again. Actually, before that, let's. Oh, I'm probably gonna, knowing my luck, I'm gonna need to grind so I can max out her fucking rolls. A launch, that's nice. I can't fucking get him to stagger. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to grind a bit, because I haven't hit the cap from a, this area. So... And since the hour's up, uh, I'm gonna save that for next time I play. That's fair. Alright, so... I think good. they'll put lightning in Kingdom Hearts. Definitely. I, keep <laughs> I mean, she is another character. Yeah. Uh, I still think the, the idea of incorporating Star Wars by having her join the Stormtroopers trying to help Sarah would be in line with her character and also Star Wars. But I don't think they're gonna put Star Wars in Kingdom Hearts 3, which sucks. Nah, I'll find it too late. Uh, I love that it's a the conversation next series. we have, though. Yeah, it's a little weird. A little Kingdom great. Hearts 2.8 coming out before 3, though. Yes. 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Like, the whole point of 2.8 is to come out before 3, so people who didn't buy a 3DS can play it. Anyway, I, I hope you like... see 13.2 and Lightning Returns on here, so I'll get to 13 eventually. I, ho I hope you like the, uh, the have being a time limit over the whole game, where when it runs out, it swaps you to the other character. Oh, in Green Road Distance. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's kind of awkward. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Now it's time for Walthros, and since I can't actually label it as Walthros, uh, I'm just gonna stop streaming, set up the, the the game, and then we're gonna go for an hour. So, stream stop for a second. Okay. I don't know how big this window is going to be. I just remember I'm going to EGX Res this year. That should be fun. I'll be right back. I guess I got this battery. Alright. Alright. Going to EGX Res for all three days this year. I don't know if, if it's there's enough stuff there to fit to the time, but. <laughs> that could be the problem. I don't know, I was there for one day last year and I barely scratched the surface on it. We had Bloodborne on the there as well, and I tried that out and played like 20 minutes and then died and then just like, well, I don't think this is going to demo very well here.
Dark Souls 3 is going to be at EGX Res this year, actually. Maybe I should try that out there. <laughs> area better to be just awkward to look at. Okay, good. Walthros, let's start. Um, I wish I could hear the music while you're playing it. Yeah. Moonlight Sonata or something? Oh wow, this is certainly a thing. <laughs> what are the buttons, by the way? Uh, it's enter and it's, it's to confirm and escape is to menu and there's the only two buttons. Okay, that... Turn down the volume a bit. Skills, white magic. Okay good, I'm a healer. And a cylinder. Fun. Alright. I'm just laughing to myself right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is a, this is a thing. I genuinely love. I mean, I finished this game. I liked it. But it's you know, it's terrible. What is this game? It was uh, it was an indie RPG released in 2004, so predating all of, like what you'd think indie games would be or exist. Yeah. <laughs> so, try searching around the trees to the east. Oh, found a a crystal. I can use it to teach him a summon. Okay. Right, you mentioned boxes in this house. Where the heck? This is an indie RPG not made in RPG Maker? No, it definitely is. No. It has an RPG icon. It's, it's, it's made in a O C E E R P G. But it's a command line R P G uh, thing. Ah. It's for 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 uh, DOS. Oh God. Oh wow. <laughs> there are oh, having, here's the boxes. There's there are not that many games made in this engine. And this is one of the more famous ones. I think I can't remember much like prominent like earlier R P G. I played. I played an RPG Maker 97 game, which was a, a fan game, which was a recreating the TV movie for Dragon Ball GT. That was a sentence. <laughs> Fucking hell. You and Nicky was killed yep. in the same year as well for us, so it's uh, much markedly better. better. Yeah. <laughs> Walter S is just so, uh, I mean, you are a, you're a, a floating psychic fish, and it's just, that's the kind of game this game is. Oh no, I'm getting punched. Yeah, and I found some unfinished Sonic RPG made in RPG Maker 2000, which had no battles in it and just a small area to explore. So, Dark Brotherhood then? No, that has... No, the Dark Brotherhood definitely has battles. It most certainly has battles. It has an abundance of battles. Okay, I'm gonna go steal the because only Bioware I... random battle shredded me. Still the only Bioware RPG I'm ever gonna play. Oh, ah. <laughs> you have a lot of mana, you can keep yourself going for a little bit. Very much back. Yeah. I like Bioware games. You gotta... You gotta go south anyways. You gotta go to the crystal tower and get your Final Fantasy crystal. 
Oh my god. I know you're not joking, which makes this all the funnier. Holy shit. Some treasure box are empty. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Isn't, like, part of the reason why Trails in the Sky took so long to localize because every treasure box has its own, like, no, specific I mean, every... line of dialogue? No, NPCs all, like, update their their text every time the story event happens. So That's it gets idea, exponentially but... noisier. But, like... Wasn't it a thing I read that also, like, every single treasure chest has its own specific, nah. like, empty no, dialogue? No, there's some, uh, repeats. Huh. And there's only, like, a hundred something in the game. So it's not like there's a huge amount. Like, there's at least, like, 200. Well, yeah, there's at least 200 NPCs, and they all have, like, a zillion lines of dialogue. Why would, like... I couldn't even imagine, like, just writing that in the first place, let alone translating it. Yeah. They're a little wacky. Oh, I love diagonal passages. The the, the typical response would be, go, oh, that's so Japanese, because it's different to how we do things over here. Well, yeah, like... But, like um, Trails in the Sky yeah. has dialogue the way that, like... Elder Scrolls games have junk, but yeah. even though I didn't really like well, just the dialogue like... in Trails, like, it's more valuable than fucking Elder Scrolls joke. It's like, you find like, well you find a lot of like, books in Elder Scrolls and stuff that are just kind of like, some are okay to read and some aren't, a lot aren't. I don't know. I, I, in Elder Scrolls, I, I have played last time I played Skyrim, I went to, I got a quest to go to Bard's College, so I immediately went for that, and then installed a mod so that Bard could actually be a thing you could do with playable instruments. The text is so long. Oh my god. <laughs> Org, my attack does nothing. This is a cutscene. This is oh my God. such a good <laughs> This is amazing. I really hope we can get to Dinosaur Island in an hour, but we'll see. Dinosaur Island? What is this, Super Mario World? Oh, that's why those monsters spawn floating over the lava, so they can block this fucking bridge. Fuck. Oh! You can equip the crystals like the saga game, but you're not rich. That's all you can do with them. So see, no. Gem, blue. There we go. The dramatic turn. <laughs> <laughs> the dramatic pacing. <laughs> That's what I was gonna do, I was gonna take. And now I have a party member. Oh my god. Also, they all have like absurd last names. Land Coven. <laughs> god. What, what are you, friend? Oh, you're a Lancer. Salam is actually uh, a warrior. <laughs> You're an explorer, but he's a he's an actual warrior of the strike. Okay, so are we going east now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a flying seal. <laughs> <laughs> what? Incredible. This game is what if Final Fantasy was total nonsense. <laughs> There's a lot of text Beta in this city. game. 
Eat your heart out, trails in the sky. Uh, yes, this... Ah, uh, this geometry doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, I feel like I'm looking down at, like, that's That's because the, the, the problem with the engine is you can only customize tiles, so you have to make your buildings look like tiles if there's nothing else you can do. Oh, that's so depressing. It's 15 a night. I'm sure, I like... Have. How much money some, do I have? Some maker stuff has managed to nine. work with tiles. Yeah, you, I mean, you can make... You can make your tiles look better than the tiles this guy made for us, but... <laughs> But this guy just made all square tiles. I'm a bird thing. <laughs> Is that a technical term? Yeah, that's actually the switch. God. Oh, there's just a, a patch of what tall grass in this fucking building. Oh my god. Just look at the just like slashing stuff everywhere, shading job. I like the, the gentle flowing upward motion of jumping. <laughs> yes. Where does this RPG come from? It was <laughs> this was a comic. Uh, Will he guy. ever come down? There we go. He never came down. <laughs> <laughs> it takes forever to jump. And it doesn't Sorry, do very oh. much damage. But yeah, this Walthrus was a comic made by this guy, and he wanted to turn his comic into an RPG. But he couldn't code, so he used his friend's uh, framework to make an RPG. Oh. Uh, you are dead. <laughs> I should. Can I just heal him with the heal, or do I have to revive him somewhere? I don't know. I think you have to go to the end. Oh. I need to do that because Cast heal on him, see what happens. It probably works. Skills. White magic heal. Nope, can't target him. Then, yeah, maybe you need to revive him, I'm sure. Throw your stay. The fucking. The in tune. Okay. There's... There's, for every end in the game, there's a specific song that plays only when you're done resting, and that there's a note, and it doesn't play anywhere else in the game. <laughs> and, That's yeah. amazing. Ooh. Every end has a different one. Every end has a different one. Holy. Nice. <laughs> Weapons and armor. Okay, both of these. Oh, they're kind of expensive. Uh. It's not really worth bringing to the meter, but... Yeah... It's not a big deal either way. No. I mean, I, <laughs> the tiles make it look like I can just reach out and grab those chests, which would be really fucking funny. Uh... <laughs> city on Dinosaur Island. Can you move so I can talk about Or not, I guess. Uh... down. Oh, this is the lab. The freaking monologues. <laughs> oh my god. This is... <laughs> a sealed library. One of my favorite parts of this game. After I finished it, I was reading the reviews for it, because they're all praising the story and the graphics. <laughs> being the best I've ever seen out of this engine. Oh my god. That's something. Fucking okay, let's, niche let's indie save. scenes. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh. Level 2. Let's go to the south of Will. Yay, we found the library. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Chaos on Walters. Uh, 
bizarre and twisted creatures of all sorts. Everything from living weapons to advanced machinery. There's a lot uh, of effort in writing in this game. Yeah! Yes! Yes, sir, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Your main guy is called Bob Sirlaw. Yep. Yeah. That's actually the name of the, that's the name of the guy who made the game. <laughs> really? <laughs> Shocking. Oh my god, this game is... I don't ever want to play it, but just seeing it. Well, it's, it's, very, it's very enjoyable. It doesn't take very long either. Even though I have to play it with the fucking arrow keys and the enter key. What the fuck? I, mean, I used I used the X pattern with my gamepad because I could I mean, to be fair, like, I don't mind with this sort of game because it's never usually that intense to play. It's it's for free on phones, too, if you uh, ever feel oh, bored and you don't have anything on your phone. Wow. On, uh, <laughs> which Android or iOS? Uh, Android and just Android, actually. I'm checking the Play Store now. Um, the best parts of this game is there's interdimensional travel that happens at one point. Wolfros, free! There are parallel universes that um, they talk about in like Chrono Cross. You do go to the moon in Wolfros. Yes, of course. Oh, they have other games as well! <laughs> yeah, he's made quite a few RPGs. <clears throat> One of them costs 78 pence. Oh, this thrilling boss battle. Right, I'm now gonna- I'm now installing Walthros on my phone. Get to open, get wrecked. Yeah. Let's see what this- this- Paid for RPG is 78 pence. C. Kane. A young media mogul begins a quest to save the world. Qu he guided by quality hip hop. He made an oh, entire game, game. Video game, you know, the video game version of Citizen Kane because the thing people always say that meme. <laughs> Citizen Kane. It's, a, it, it's about a media it. mogul guided by hip hop. Yeah, it's like it's... when will video games have their own Citizen Kane? So he made. A Citizen Kane RPG. I just. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna download his other ones as well to see what they're like. The flying, <laughs> the flying seal is not going to get any experience from this boss fight because he kept dying. When they're dead, they just. There's also their one eyes, called Force Game. <laughs> The description on horse game says, play the horse game and make sure you do not get out of control. <laughs> I have, uh, I have not played any any other games besides Walthrus, so I don't know what they are. Well, they're all free on Google Play! Well, except for C. Kane. That costs 78 pence. I don't know how much it costs. That would probably, probably be 99 cents. Probably 99 cents, something around that. I'm adding it to my wish list for when I can be bothered to pay for something. <laughs> uh, I'm poor. I can I can be picky. Well, I might not is still playing in the background. Am I DI version? This game actually has good boss themes, but the battle theme is... Well, the battle theme is sort of something. It exists! It's another Hydra. It actually reminds me of the first Dragon Quest battle theme, but it's set up three times. <laughs> That's a specific reminder. Oh, I think he learned life. Yeah, he did! Good! I, I, I unmuted the stream on you, Becky, for a moment that I think there's something up with your capture card sound. Is there? Seems like it. Uh. Huh. 
I mean, it's detecting appropriately on OBS. Um, what's it doing? Is it is there no game audio or? It's like really stuttery audio. Hmm. I'm gonna make sure our party member gets a fucking level or two because he's still level one. But the game audio isn't that important for this game, so. If you get him, get him the stone army. Probably. I mean, at, at the moment, it's just eternity play. Is it intelligible or? I can tell what it is, but like it, it just sounds weird. Well, I did have an audio problem earlier. Um, if it sounds bad, it sounds bad. Um, it's probably mainly the visuals you're paying I mean, attention to. We are we are intelligible level. over the top of the audio, so that also helps. Um, but yeah, it's mostly the, the visuals that I'm bothered about. Time to go to the end. Then there's there's plenty of place on YouTube you could easily go for musical reference. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's also like 45 hours of this Let's Play. Um, I don't need to be reminded of what Eternity sounds like. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. I don't think Somebody anyone brings watch it up. Here I go. <laughs> Very <laughs> concise. <laughs> I mean, he's going pretty fast. Yeah. The bird thing. Oh, the bird thing the crystal. Bird thing. Allows owner to view cloaked bird thing ships. Okay. Thanks. It's a key item. It's important. I'm <laughs> just a random fucking guy in the sea. Okay. What? Uh, Oh my god. Do you think after this hour you're going to be returning to this game much? <laughs> I might. Who knows? How long is it? It is... Uh, it's like eight hours. I might later on. <laughs> Who knows? <coughs> well, I've not got it installed on my phone. <laughs> I, I like it because it... It rips plat beats right from 6 and 4, but it's in this irresponsible setting. Irresponsible. It's, it's, it's much better than Final Fantasy 6. <laughs> what the heck? It's called the Crisis Sword. I feel yeah. like... <laughs> the Crisis Sword. Uh, I, I need to play through all Final Fantasy 6 at some point. Probably not even that hard a game to play through. History is repeating no. itself. It it actually is in a time loop, a literal repeat. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Southeast. Okay. Oh my God! This is a combination of the entire robot posse from before into a single monster. Of course, they, they combine their robots in the fucking Akira Toriyama game. <laughs> There's the Cloak's first ship. Yep, I see it. Uh, bird thing. Let's explore it and probably get killed by some random fucking thing. Or just random snails. I am probably going to use some of my money to buy some equipment. Yeah, if it's I have, any bit. This game is like bizarrely. I have a bizarre fondness for it. It's like it's almost as important to me as Barclays Ship and Jambi. I I haven't played that one. It's uh, very funny. <laughs> right, I <laughs> have completed the first yeah, part of the primitive cube, and that's it for my stream for tonight. Alright. Because holy crap.